Hey, thank you for joining me. The odds are you clicked on this video from either my TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. And as one of my videos said, are you sure you're going to heaven? And I want to help you understand that you can know today 100% that you're going to heaven. Did you know God has a plan for you? God loves you and God has a free gift for you. I didn't know these things before. I had no idea. Throughout life, I talked to different people. People talked to me about Jesus, but I didn't really give my life over. I said prayers throughout my life, but I just didn't really ever commit. Maybe that's you today. Maybe you've committed your life to Jesus before, but you just got out of, out of, the, out of alignment. Uh, you got out of the way. Of, of the Lord. Or maybe you never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior ever like I did. And so I wanted to introduce you to myself and my story today and where I came from and how you can see, receive the same gift that I did. I know for 100% if you die today, you will go to heaven. I mean, that's a blessing to know, knowing where you go if you died right now. And my story is this. I played baseball for 22 years. I mean, that was everything to me. I ate, slept, and did baseball. That's all I cared about. I was good enough to go to a Division I college, got a full scholarship to be a pitcher. And all that mattered to me was staying on the team. I didn't care about studying, didn't really care about going to school, but I did, did it to stay on the team. You know, there's an old saying back in the day, C's get degrees. And that's all I did. Didn't put anything else extra outside of that. And so I went along and played baseball for four years at the school. Ended up my senior year doing so well that the St. Louis Cardinals end up drafting me as a free agent to be a pitcher. I mean, what a life dream. I mean, I was a kid growing up. And the St. Louis Cardinals double-A team was right in Arkansas, where I'm from. And so I was excited. My dream is coming true. And so I go after the season. They invite me down to the Rookie League season over in Tennessee. And I played that whole summer. Did pretty good. Had a rocky start, but ended up uh, finishing up really well. They invited me to come back to spring training down in Palm, Florida. It was the greatest thing i ever seen in my life. All these baseball fields, all these different players, hundreds of players coming back. And so every day we'll go and do our warm-ups <clears throat> and get ready uh, for the day. And one day we were out practicing. They call them PFPs, pitching drills. And so as I'm going through the motions to cover first base, my left cleat gets stuck in the clay on the pitcher's mound and it ends up twisting my knee. Well, 10 days later, I'm released. They cut me. I mean, what a devastating moment. I mean, that's everything I've ever done, everything I've ever dreamed of doing was playing baseball. And now I have nothing. They put me on a plane that day. Couldn't even say bye to the friends I made and that I were already friends with from the season before. So as I'm going through, I get home, talk to my parents, say, hey, this is what's happened. I said, but I know a guy that I played college ball with. I heard he was a White Sox scout. And so I called him. I got a hold of him some way, found his number, and talked with him. He said, hey, man, we're, we're, we're signing people. But the first thing he asked me, he said, how hard are you throwing? I said, I'm topping out at 90 miles an hour right now. He said, that's not enough. We're looking for 95 and above. Because at that time, they were looking for power pitchers. And I wasn't a power pitcher. I was a location guy. Get them in and get them out. Didn't have a high strikeout ratio, uh, but I just put the ball in play and gave my team an opportunity to make the play. And so as I'm going through this process with him, he, he says, hey, I know a team up in Missouri. It's right, uh, probably about an hour from St. Louis. So I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And so I go up there, they put me on a bus, and I end up making the team. 
ended up staying with his family for the summer. Did very, very well. Went 11-4, and four, broke their all-time record. Topped out at 94 miles an hour. I mean, I was on top of the world. But nobody was in my world with me but me. <laughs> the scouts weren't in my world. Uh, a, a wife wasn't in my world. A girlfriend wasn't in my world. I didn't care anything about anybody except myself. And so the season ended. Nobody picked me up. I was shocked. And I told myself going into this, if no one picks me up, I'm not going to extend my career. And so I get a call from the coaches uh, that next year, going into this next season. And so they say, hey, Carl, I got, I got a question for you. You want to come back? I say, yeah. I said, but if I come back, you're going to have to double my salary. They were shocked I said that. <laughs> I wasn't because I wasn't playing. They called me back a few days later, talked to their their organization said, hey, yeah, we'll double your salary, give you a place to live. Uh, and then uh, if you don't get picked back up, he said, this is the other offer we're going to offer you. You'll be able to come back after your last year because 26 years old was was a cutoff age. And so they said, we'll give you a job to be coach, one of the coaches. Man, that's a huge opportunity. At 26 years old, Never had any experience in coaching as far as in the, any organized baseball or, or leagues or anything of that nature, like high school or college. So this would have been a great door open for me because that would have possibly put me in professional coaching uh, opportunities down the road. Well, I thought about it. I called them back, said, hey, I'm not going to take the offer. Thank you. But if I change my mind, I'll call you back. Well, I never changed my mind. And so I'm extremely in doubt now where, where I'm going to go. I have no idea who I am. And so I met this guy in a bar I was shooting pool at. He had on this nice watch. I love watches. And so as I'm playing, I talk with him. I said, man, where'd you get this watch? He said, I won it in a uh, contest of the highest sales rep. Whoever's the top sales reps uh, get these type of rewards. And I got to pick from a watch or some other things. And so that's what I picked. He said, we're actually hiring. He said, uh, are you are you looking for a job? I said, I am. I said, but I can't go anywhere right now. I said, are you guys doing a drug test? He said, yes. I said, that's the thing. Is, I can't go anywhere. I said, I'll call you in a couple of months after I clean up. And I did. Ended up going in for the interview. Got the job right on the spot. The general manager of the company, the corporate company of that branch, they hired me on the spot. Well, he come to find out he was a a St. Louis Cardinal fan, big fan. He grew up in St. Louis. And so they hired me on the spot because that's the only thing I had on my resume. <laughs> that's the only thing I could have. I didn't have any jobs really uh, to speak of. And so the reason I'm telling you my story is because it don't matter how far you are away from the Lord. It doesn't matter how far you are down. It doesn't matter if you don't even know your purpose or your calling uh, or the plan of God in your life. I can help you right now. Uh, to know that 100%, if you died right now, you would go to heaven, right? And so this is the purpose of this video, to give you the opportunity to know that you're going to heaven right now. There's no question. It's 100% guaranteed, all right? Remember at the beginning of the video, I said, God has a plan for you. God loves you, and God has a gift for you. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says this, I have plans for you, says the Lord. Thoughts of good and not of evil, right? He has expected in and hope. And the love of God, check this out. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever calls upon his name shall be saved and have eternal life. Now another gift, check this out. He said this. He said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And that's what he is offering you today eternal life so that you can tap in to his plan, his will, and his purpose for your life. If you'd like to know today that you're going to heaven, say this prayer after me. Say, Father, bow your heads, close your eyes. Say, Father, I believe Jesus is your son. I believe he died on the cross and paid for the wages of my sin. I believe that you raised him from the dead and he is alive. Right now, I call upon the name of Jesus to be saved and born again. Jesus, come into my heart. 
I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me by the power of your blood. Thank you for saving me. I am now born again and have the gift of eternal life. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit and fire, that your plan, your will, and your purpose will be made known to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer today, write down in the comments, I said that prayer. And if you want more content like this, subscribe and follow, and I'll see you next time.